Hello guys, welcome back to Archive Ryzen. In this video, I'm just gonna give a quick explanation of Series Kusana skill, weapon skill, and logistic skill. So Series Kusana is a shotgun weapon user who deal thermal damage. Her role is a skill DPS. First, I'm gonna start with her Deo skill. So this purple bar is her Deo skill. For now, let's call this bar Soul Failure Charge. That will increase every time her shot and skill hit enemy. After Soul Felu reaching a certain amount, Ceres will gain one stack of resurrection effect that can stack up to 5 stack. Each stack of resurrection effect can increase Ceres attack and will decay over time. The ratio of attack increment from the resurrection effect will increase for each 100 element index. When using her standard skill, Ceres will deploy a shield and start charging forward, dealing thermal damage and knockback every enemy hit by her seal. While charging forward, she will start consuming certain skill energy every second, and gain a certain effect such as Damage taken from the front side will decrease by a certain percentage, Damage taken from outside will also reduce, her resistant interruption will increase, and she will gradually increase her soul value charge. Hitting enemy while traveling, we also provide additional charge to her soul value. I'm not sure how long she can travel using her standard skill. Maybe until she run out of skill energy to consume, or maybe until a certain duration. Her seal has two pace. The first one looks like this. While the second pace, the seal will become more wider like this. You can manually deactivate her skill by reusing her standard skill again. But it is more recommended to deactivate her skill after she entering the second pace. Because if you deactivate her skill in the second pace, she will shatter her seal to deal thermal damage up to 5 enemies in front, gain certain soul value charge, and recover a certain ultimate energy. Her standard skill neuroning upgrade is, when equipped with thermal weapon, series shot hit enemy can also accumulate soul value charge and restore certain amount of skill energy. While the next upgrade, after her seal in second pace is shattered, Ceres' standard skill cooldown is reversed, and she will also recover certain skill energy. So in order to keep spamming her standard skill, it is highly recommended to deactivate her standard skill after she entering the second pace. Next one is her support skill. Her support skill is very simple. When using her support skill, she will smash the ground and knock back all surrounded enemy within the skill AoE dealing thermal damage and apply seal to all nearby teammates. So overall, her support skill is almost the same like Itchel the Cup support skill. The only difference is, instead of heal, she only applies seal. Upgrading her support skill in Neura upgrade can increase the total damage the seal can absorb and series max HP. Maybe the seal created by series support skill will based on series max HP while the next upgrade can increase the support skill AoE. When using her ultimate skill, she will enter in the cameraman pace, while in cameraman pace, Ceres will start lock on to every enemy within the camera view, just like Chunxing standard skill. Then Ceres will apply one stack of radiant tower mark to each enemy she lock on to. If there is no more enemy to mark, she will start staking the Radiant Tower Mark stack to enemy who already has the Radiant Tower Mark. And also during Cameraman pace, Ceres will charging Radiant Tower Mark and consuming the remaining Soul Failure Charge simultaneously. If a target got multiple Mark, the charge received by each Mark is reduced. The amount of Radiant Tower Charge received by each Mark and Soul Failure consumed can increase the total damage her ultimate skill can deal. After finish charging, she will launch Radiant Torrent to each marked enemy, dealing thermal damage. Ceres will also deal additional thermal damage to enemy in front, excluding the marked enemy. Her ultimate skill Nera upgrade is, damage other than ultimate skill can reduce the ultimate skill cooldown, so her shooting, her standard skill, and her support skill damage can reduce the ultimate skill cooldown. While the second upgrade, after using her ultimate skill, her other skill cooldown will refresh and replenish all her Sorgan bullets at the same time. Next one is her weapon skill. The first skill can increase Ceres attack and max SP. 
while the second skill can increase her thermal damage whenever she charging forward using her standard skill or charging in cameraman pace when using her ultimate skill. Meanwhile, her logistic skill, the two-piece set effect can increase series attack and max HP, while the three-piece set effect can increase series thermal damage based on series resurrection stack she can accumulate. And if her resurrection stack reach certain stakes or above, the thermal damage will increase even further. I don't know why her logistic skill specially mentioned Cyrus name. Maybe her logistic skill is really specially made for Cyrus Kasana. So you can't equip this logistic to other thermal damage dealer operative. So from the look, most of her skill is AoE damage skill. Maybe she will not really suitable against boss. Let's see how her DPS looks like after she is released. But the way her standard skill can charge in full speed ahead like that might be very useful in open world gameplay. So besides we can dash using Cherno 4 star support skill, we can also use series standard skill to increase our traveling speed. After all of this, are you excited to pull for her? Let me know in the comment section. I think that's all from me, thank you for watching, see you next time, cheers.